evening, a beautiful night. I love the weather. The weather is just perfect. All the beautiful dresses, the beautiful people, the beautiful daughters, the daughters of the Most High. Amen. Can we get an amen? Amen. 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 So for those that have not walked the red carpet, and we are serving our living God, please come closer. For those that are to the left side, please come a little bit closer as well. So we can officially start the program. We are also streaming live for this evening. It's intimate tonight, but at least we're sharing this with those family members, the loved ones, the friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome. Yeah, you look beautiful this evening. Thank you for coming. We're here to celebrate, right? But we're also here to sympathize, even if it has been four years, to keep the memories alive. Before we start with the official opening and welcoming and the prayer, I would love Ponty and his beautiful wife to please come to the fore. A special request. Has anybody heard that beautiful song called The Prayer? By Celine Dion and uh, Andrea Bocelli. Oh, I get goosebumps each time I hear this, that, that song. Ponty, please introduce your beautiful wife. Introduce yourself and why have you decided to start with this specific song? Uh, this was a special. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Nand Alma, Nand Khurgil, and one to pronounce from his father, Jesus Christus. This is my friend, Mariam de Kua, uh, 14 years old, and we sing a long as that song. And uh, Richard, it was the first time we heard uh, the prayer sing by a by a year ago, more than 14 years ago. And uh, the, I think the song was by a man, say, and he was in the same. So can we please give them a big round of applause? Thank you.
matching white dress as well as your father as well and the family members um, it's okay to shed a tear even for after four years you know it could take 10 20 30 years and you will still be mourning for someone who's not with, with us anymore so please if we can look at the back or even to your front um, we're here at the official launch of the tombstone first of its kind done for me a demo and dedicated song. Ponty, we're going to bring you back as well with you and your team. And the beautiful songbird, Esme, as well. Um, a dedicated song. And this is more like the pre of the official tombstone unveiling. And I've never been to anything as such before. Never been done. And that shows you the care and the love and the precision and the dedication. Can, can you look at my dress tonight? <laughs> how, yeah, how, how do I look? Everything been detailed and planned to celebrate who? Can we say her name together on the count of three? On the count of three, we're going to say the first name, Vanessa Nolte Davids. Are we ready so she can at least hear us all the way up in heaven? Are you ready? Yeah. On the count of three, one, two, three, Melissa Vanessa Nolte Davids. Amen. Round of applause for her tonight. That's why we are here. No other reason. And for those, we are live on Stuckies. Yeah, is that Stuckies? Go ahead, broadcast. Thank you. Thank you so much for also those that are tuning in for this evening. We will observe the um, protocol as well. Um, let's first and foremost acknowledge the presence um, that's of our pastor this evening, Reverend Timotheus Mutambo from the AME Church. You have another service right now tonight, and therefore we wanna say thank you for splitting yourself for someone that's equally as important. So can we please give our Reverend a big round of applause. Somebody say amen. 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 Uh, beloved, good evening. I greet you and to be with the bishop, I greet you all in the joy of knowing Jesus. Uh, I want to lift a scripture from the book of Joshua, the fourth chapter. And I want to read the six, from verse four to verse six. And it reads thus. So Joshua called together the 12 men he had appointed from the Israelites, one from each tribe and said to them, Go over before the ark of the Lord your God into the middle of the Jordan. Each of you is to take up a stone on his shoulder, according to the number of the tribes of the Israelites, to serve as a sign among you in the future. And when your children ask, What do these stones mean? Tell them, that the flow of the Jordan was cut off before the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. When it crossed the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan were cut off. These stones are to be a memorial to the people of Israel. And I want to, you are compelled, if you are trained as a pastor, that whenever you say something, doesn't matter how short it is, just give it a small title. So that when the people don't know Whatever you said, at least you remember, this is what he said. And I want to use as a short title, what do these stones mean? What do these stones mean? What does the stone mean that you are launching this evening? Firstly, the stone is to be a memorial. So when her children, Melissa's children and her offsprings and the generations to come pass by one day. They would know that here lies a woman that once traversed this earth. 
Here lies a woman that showed love to us. Here lies a friend that we once could talk to, that we once could share memories with. Firstly, the stone is to be a memorial. And secondly, the stone is to be a sign of our forgetfulness. Sometimes we easily forget what the Lord has done for us. So when you see the stone, you should rem remember that the Lord has been faithful to Melissa, that the Lord has been faithful to her family, her husband, and her children. And secondly, the, and thirdly, the stone is to be a stone of victory. Victory, the stone, these stones were set up as the Israelites crossed over to the Jordan. My brother, as you are cross, crossing over to Clusha, as you are crossing over to victory, this is not a stone of defeat. They set up these stones when God has been amazing to them. And the God that has carried you thus far with the setting up of this stone is the same God that will lead you further. So this stone is to be a sign of victory. So teach your children that the hand of God is mighty, that they may fear the Lord your God forever. So that stone is a stone of victory, not a stone of defeat. And it's a sign of God's grace and of God's mercy in your lives. Let us unite in prayer. Father God, we come this evening. And we, our coming together signifies the beginning of yet another journey. It signifies, signifies who you have been to us when you called your daughter. It signifies that your hand of grace and your hand of mercy has been on these children and on this husband and on us as friends. Now we pray that you will bless this gathering, bless the journey that goes forward henceforth. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. amen. Thank you. Can we please give Reverend a round of applause as he also exits to his next obligation. As mentioned before, we would like to acknowledge that's the Deputy Bishop Abraham Kaisep from um, Elsewhere in church, can we please uh, give him a big round of applause for also being here today. So why are we here this evening? And when, when I mention why I am here, because we know of our late sister, mother, aunt, neighbor, colleague, best friend, mentor, role model, the names are endless. We are here for her to signify the years that have come along the way. Um, in in Vintok, we are so small. Um, years ago, um, Melissa also was very involved with the Philippi Trust um, that worked closely with my late dad, Dr. Henry Platt as well, um, in, in, in a lot of projects. And that's why they say, before you leave this earth, make sure that you have made that impact, not financially, but when we are here again today, it's, what feeling did your mom leave us with? What kind of feeling? You know, like, what, what, who was she? And, and what impact did she make in everybody's lives? And isn't it beautiful to see every familiar face here? And we are walking around tonight because we're celebrating. I think it's the first time, Richard, that I'm so serious. I've been doing this for the past 21, 22 years to pump up the crowd, but you can feel that sense of also we need to also show our respect. So Richard, thank you so much. We've come a long way since 2002, 2003 from the University of Namibia. And when friends are there, genuine friends, they will be there at the unveiling. Years might go, you might forget about the little things, right? But one thing that you won't forget is how that person made you feel. Can we get a round of applause for that? So we are acknowledging the family and the friends, those that are sitting out here too as well. Thank you for coming. That's why we are here. 
This is very amazing. So I met up with Richard, and Richard spoke with so much passion in his eyes, right? He, he spoke about, this is what I have in mind, this is how I have it envisioned from the song that we are going to launch tonight. Testimonies, lyrics that are coming from the children as well as from himself. So without further ado, and this is a great, great moment to welcome that, um, the mastermind. You've been working on this for a couple of months. Richard has kept you very, very busy. The true inspiration behind the design. Can we please welcome to the fore? That's Mr. Winfried Holzer. Welcome. Okay. Thank you very much for the good word, nice words. I'm actually, um, you know, Richard is, is piling the pressure on me. Yeah, really. I didn't know that we had such talent here in this, in this country. Huh? Amazing. Where do you find these people? You grew up with them. Really, really good music. Very, I mean, really nice. Pastor, he's probably left already. Yes, wonderful words. But um, yeah, um, I'm actually flattened by the amount of stuff you've you've created. You know, I never imagined in this workshop something like this would happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, when I built this workshop, I, I dreamt of sculptures being here and having fashion shows and stuff. But um, never something like this. It's really amazing. But um, just to come back to the story, you know, one day Richard comes into my office there and says he wants something very special. I say, yeah, everybody wants something special. And um, no, but this is really, really, very special. And I listen to him and he starts doing a drawing. And I say, he says, I, I actually want a vase, a vase with lilies in because Vanessa liked really, uh, 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 um, um, lilies. I said, yeah, but you know, the problem is I can't do a vase um, because marble stone is a brittle stone. It is not very strong. And I can't, can't make it very thin. So, or in a, in a vase type of thing because, you know, the stems may break easily. So, so I listened to him and, and he was talking on and then I said, okay, all right, let's talk about the idea of the lilies. Now he wants to have the lilies like Vase thing, and then he, he made a, a drawing like this. I'm mean, very very professional. Um, <laughs> it's part of the of, of the game of a, of the, a, the the process. And I said, yeah, okay, let's let's talk about that. And, and then I said, look, the the standard you know technical stuff is great. It has to be two meters by nine hundred. These are standard things, and the municipality will not allow something bigger and so on, and then he says, no, yeah. and, and he wants to have columns and the roof on, and so on. And I said, no, look, yeah, we can do a column and, and the roof on. So I made a little sketch like this, and, and just to show him how it would look if it is now a, a columns with a roof on. Um, this is like a 3D drawing, more or less. And then we were, we were discussing things and I said, look, these guys here opposite, they do doing gravestones. They do it every day. And I, every day I see things leaving the, the yard. You know, it is, uh, uh, you know, these columns, they, the columns get bigger and bigger, and the roofs get bigger and bigger and higher. And I said, you know, is that really special if, if um, you know, everybody has the same roof and everybody has the same columns? Should we do something, something more dynamic, something which which is more special, you know, something if you go past the, the Pioneer's Park uh, 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 Cemetery, they all look the same, it's all black stones and it's all, uh, uh, you know, also columns and roofs and, you know, things around and stuff and, and, and you know, I was very reluctant because we from uh, Buddha Marble, we want to go in a new direction, we want to put Namibia on the, on the map, uh, in terms of sculpture, in terms of marble stone, because Nam Namibia is one of the countries 
sub-Saharan Africa, which has the most and the whitest marble stone mines. So there are, there are marble stone mines in Angola, but um, they are not as bright as ours. And, and so that is what we are promoting. And we started a style which is more flowing and which brings out the marble stone. But then I thought, you know, um, columns and roof with marble, with white marble, is still not it. But when we came onto the idea of uh, the lilies, which he started off with lilies, and I said, um, yeah, lilies, that, shouldn't we speak with the idea of lilies? And luckily, I have uh, bushes of lilies at home, and they're blooming today, uh, this week. Yeah, how, how, how coincidence, yeah? yeah. There is never, never something which just happens. It, it happens for a reason. So these are lilies, and I based the so I based the, the, the sculpture or the headstone on this flower. Um, I tried to, you know, obviously it will not be exactly like the, the flowers, but we're getting close to it. And um, the idea was then, how do you take it further? Because I can't do a roof with this, with the lilies. But I thought now, you know, it's Richard Day and then it's the two children and it is the mother. So I have four, four leaves. And um, so I based the whole design on these four leaves, in which the one you will see just now here, the one is straight up like this one, and there's the two ones on the side, which are the two children, the two daughters, and the mother who, who departed is the one who's lying down. So that is the, the concept, basically. Like this, and um, well, I, 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 we talked about it, and I was I'm still worried that it is maybe a wrong idea or not. Or, but uh, we can do it like this, and that is what the model is all about. Um, I, he, I said, you know, I need to make a couple of models before I can visualize myself into it. And I also asked my fellow artists to do models, so we did clay models here. This is a clay model which is not baked, so it is very fragile and um, we painted it white, so it, it gets the, the idea. It is a model, it is not the real thing, but that is uh, the beginning so that we know what, how we're going to build or make the, uh, the sculpture uh, or the tombstone. For me it's a sculpture and a tombstone in one. So, yeah, Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Round of applause. That's, that's a whole lot of planning. Mm -hmm. And um, can I ask you how long up until the official unveiling has it taken you and your team or it's going to take you and your team? Well, this took me uh, two, three weeks. Um, um, not, not obviously working hand as on the thing, but in here and then doing the model, and then we had about, uh, about eight of them standing there, and he immediately chose work that one day. And normally, if we do a sculpture like the Angel's Day, one leaf would take us four weeks. Now, we only have three and a half weeks left, so we will have to push this thing, and, and we will make it within the time which he, he wants us to have it done. But what I also wanted to add now, he, uh, the, the tombstone is going to be on a black, um, on a black, how do you call it, table or a, a board kind of thing. And because um, some people may not see this as a lily, I will engrave lilies on the black stone. So that um, the idea still gets, uh, gets through. And on the stone, we will also have possibly lights there. And um, so it's a, so I heard it's a that. challenge, it's a it's, real challenge for us. It's innovative. Can I tell everyone a secret? It's not going to be a secret after this, but this flower your father gave to your mother on their first date. Do you know that? No. So I think there's a lot of significance behind why we choose a specific, specific flower. And um, as I have it on the wedding day, 
it was also very present as well. Um, so thank you so much. We can't wait and to symbolize how beautiful you know, she really was and continuously is um, from up above. Round of applause to the hard work to you and your team. Thank you so much. I, I hope that I do justice to her because I've never met her, I've never yes. seen her, and I, you know, I just know Richard did. And they were all talking so highly about it, so I, yeah. you know, I have to, I have to follow suit. I have to, you know, bring that, do justice to it. It's different. It's difficult for me not having known the person, but I think the energies are there, and um, I believe very strongly in energies, and they are, they are around us, and they come into us through us, and then they, they that is how we interpret our sculptures. Also, we are just the hands of the energies around us. Amen. Deputy Bishop, it's all spirit-led, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Please round of applause. Thank you so much. We will unveil it in a little bit. Thank you so much. You can drop the mic as well. Um, from one explanation, as mentioned before, the unveiling will be taking place in November and all the logistics will be um, shared by our lovely brother, Mornay, the backbone, also support to the family. Um, is everyone okay tonight? Yeah, somehow I'm feeling richer that, you know, we're supposed to mourn, we're supposed to be sad, but we're celebrating life, right? Okay, good, good, good. So this is the good part now. This is the good part. We're going to start dancing and singing. And when I heard the first 20 seconds of this song, oh my goodness. Um, Ponte, you did a fantastic job. Come here real quick. Come here. Let's have a conversation. So I want you now, with your microphone on, I want you to explain what was the process of getting the lyrics who gave what lyrics, what is the song about, and how did you compose the melody? Because the melody, I love it. It's not too upbeat. It's not too sad. It's just like, you know, that happy song of celebrating who she was. So, in a second, please elaborate how did it come, what's the name of the song. It's in a different language, which is great, which is good. So please explain to, to everyone. Okay, yeah. as for the melody, uh, all credits needs to go to Terence. I don't know Terence's name. Yeah? Terence's name. What do you say? Yeah. And um, they were... Richard brought them to the studio. I'm the engineer behind the song. Um, so Terence was playing a different melodies. And, um, and I allowed him to play different melodies until I, uh, I heard him play this specific melody and I said, Yes, that one, keep it there. Let's work on that. And while he was playing, I was already busy with the drums and all the other instruments that comes in between. And she was singing so beautifully. Uh, Lentina was singing so beautifully there. And I was like, okay, Lentina, get on the mic before we lose this. And this song was actually made within an hour. Within an hour. Our tops. We had everything together. Yes. Um, then the lyrics... The lyrics was all given by the families, the children, um, the daughters, the husband, and the mother's uh, um, family, mother and father. So, and it, and it goes as follows. Um, this is now in Afrikaans. I was given to explain it to you in Afrikaans. And I think we'll see you better understand in Afrikaans. Your glimlach, your liefde. Your swing is up my wanger. Who can end that forget? And this is from the husband, am I correct? Oh, this is from the daughters. Aha, okay, this is from the daughters. Your glimlach, your liefde, your swing is up my wanger. Who can end that forget? That is Lolo. This, yeah. Hey. And that's. Uh. This thing, okay, yes. And that is from the daughter. Met jou wil, met jou wil ek wees, maar ek weet dat jy nie weer terug sal kom nie. Een vraag het ek. Wees lief vir my, tot in eeuwigheid. Dan kom dit van die pa af nou, die husband. Sonder dat ons geweet het van morgen, het ek jou lief gehad. Sonder dat ons geweet het van morgen, het ons dochters gebring. Sonder 
dat ons geweet het van mora, het ek jou gesoen, my lief. Sonder dat ons geweet het van mora, was ek jou baie lief. En die is die tweede vers wat ek in Tamara sal sing, as jylle my hoor sing. Dit is wat hy daar so sê. Dit is nog van die haaspunt af. Dan kom ons by die laaste, by die dochter, by een van die dochters, toe die Raven, Raven, yes. Raven het hierdie gedeelte geskryf, wat ook in Damara Nama sal gesing word. My ma was een baie unieke persoon. My ma het verskil van Alma. Ek sal jou nie vergeet nie. Ek sal jou nie vergeet nie. My ma, my mama. En dan op die einde van die song het ons een gebed wat die familie van die van die leed Vanessa gerequest het wat sal gebed word op die einde van die song wat een song bid is my vir ons gaan bid dit is al wat ek nie gekregen het ja die gebed is haar ma Vanessa sy ma en pa sy gedeelte wat op die einde van die song kom Dit is hoe die song by mekaar gesit is. Ponty, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. So again, you said it took you one hour to compose the song. Yes. How long does it usually take you to compose music? Average? It depends. Every every song has, it depends. The longest, what would it take you? The longest can be up to a month. A month, yeah. yeah. And it's the mastering and the mixing. I mean, once upon a time, I also sang, so I know this, yeah. I mean, like back then, it took a lot of work, Uncle, to put a song out. It just didn't take one hour. It took the lyrics, it took the beats, it took everything as well. Are we ready to hear it? Yes. No, I can't hear. She yes. needs to hear. Uh, Vanessa, Melissa, Vanessa, we need to hear you. She needs to hear you. So are we ready to hear the song? Yeah. There we go. Much, much better. Ponty, where's your team? Is your team here? Please announce them name by name and let's give them a big round of applause. Lentina and Esme Songbird. Can we get another round of applause, family? Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. 
When they do the farewell part, I want you to go left. One, two, three, right. And if you're at home, please get up. We see you online. So the chorus part, Ponty and ladies. So when we do the chorus, we're going to wave our hands side to side. Come stand next to me. 